Welcome to clickmyproject.com. Let me discuss the project about a supervised method for determining displacement of grey level co-occurrence matrix. In this paper, we propose the supervised method for determining textile sizes of texture. Textile sizes can be used as a maximum displacement for constructing GLCM. GLCM is grey level co-occurrence matrix. The future value of textile images will be calculated by using GLCM. The status of image will be classified by K-nearest neighbor classifier. Grey level co-occurrence matrix is one of the most powerful methods for extracting texture information. GLCM extracts a co-occurrence probability of intensities with a specific displacement between pair pixels. Most applications of GLCM GLCM uses a single displacement or a distant number of displacements. Maximum displacement between pair pixels is dependent on textile sizes. So approaches that use distance displacements for all textures taken from different distance from texture surfaces do not classify textures properly. This paper introduces a supervised method for determining textile sizes of a texture. Textile sizes can be used as the maximum displacement for constructing gray level co-occurrence matrix. This method uses variances of intensities in scale space levels to extract features. It's the black diagram of our project. First, we will load the K-tip databases. The next, pre-processing. Then, pre-processing will be fine for input images. And Gaussian cut will be fine for images. The next, GLCM feature extraction. GLCM feature extractions is the image analysis techniques. In GLCM's gray level co-occurrence matrix, several statistics informations are derived using the different formulas. These statistics provide information about the texture of an image. The next one is future vector. In pattern recognition, future vector is an n-dimensional vector of numerical features that represent some objects. GLCM and standard deviation of Gaussian future extracted values are combined. Combine the features, construct the future vector. The next one is KNN classification. K nearest neighbor is a series of algorithms that attempt to identify underlying relationships in a set of data by way a human brain operates. Features of texture images as the inputs K nearest neighbors for classification. In pattern recognition, K nearest neighbor is used to classify inputs into a set of target category. The next one is analysis. Here future value will identify for texture images. Neural network classification will be identified to the modified for the KNN classification and the confusion matrix will be calculated for the KNN classification. Now let's see about the execution part. I am having main.m file then select the file right click run file supervised method of GLCM then select load image button here we have to select the input image then next pre-processing then Gaussian filter will be fine for input images. In order to determine the image's texel sizes, first of all, we construct a scale space representation of each image in the database based on the Gaussian filters. The scale space representation is a set of images represent at different resolution which are called the scale space levels. The next one is feature extraction. Feature extraction using GLCM. Gray level co occurrence matrix and associated texture feature calculations are image analysis techniques given an image composite of pixels each with an intensity. GLCM is the tabulation of half of a different combination of gray levels co occur in an image or image section. Texture feature calculations use the contents of the GLCM to give you measures of the variations in intensity at the pixels of interest. The virtual variable is created in the following way using the settings of the GLCM textures. Then the quantitize the image data. Each sample on the echogram is treated as a single image pixels and the value of the sample is the intensity of that pixels. These intensities are then further quantized into a specified number of discrete gray levels as specified under quantization. The next one is train features. Train features is the pattern recognition. Future vector is the n-dimensional vector of numerical features that represent some objects. GLCM and standard deviation of Gaussian feature extraction values are combined. Combine the features, construct the future vector. Then the next one is classification. Classification the accuracy of KNN algorithm can be separately called by the presence of noisy or irrelevant features. Or if the future scales are not constant with their importance, much research effort has been put into selecting or scaling features to improve classification. A particularly popular approach is the use of evolutionary algorithm to optimize features scaling. Another popular approach is to scale features by the mutual information of the training data with the training classes. Finally, the GLCM of our texture classification is done by distant number of displacements since textures can be captured from different distances.
then when maximum is reduced the supervised method for determining pixel sizes the proposed method uses the variance of intensities in scale space levels to extract the features to predict pixel sizes then this method is tested for 179 test images and pixel sizes of 91.9 percentage of them is determined correctly thank you